understanding your cash flow and profit margins can be a challenge, but you can't understand your true cash flow or profit margins until you have truly expensed out the job. So make sure you have the nine essential expenses that need to be in every proposal, your payroll taxes, insurance, and overhead. Even if you are uh, self-employed and you're doing the work yourself, always have this in here unless you're gonna be a 1099 contractor because you always wanna bid like the company you wanna be. Never bid like the company you are. If you wanna grow and to really uh, scale your business, you're gonna need to make sure all of these costs are in there, even if you were a mom and pop. But if you're trying to scale, make sure that these are in there. So you have your nine expenses, you have your payroll, insurance, and overhead, and then you have inspectors, inspect what you um, expect, your trainers to uh, cover your cost of turnover and or your, your training turnover, and then you've got your frontline custodians, people in the trenches every day that are paid well with adequate cleaning times, then you have your additional expenses. These are the three minimum that you need here. And I always have another one, which is cell phone. Now this is going to be your profit margin, percentage wise, and your revenue, okay? So your profit margin in percent, I like to operate on a minimum of 30%. However, that's going to change the larger the building is. Typically, uh, you have to be a little bit more flexible. So a million square foot building 30% profit margin may not be feasible, whereas I can get 60, 70, 80% profit margin on a thousand square foot facility, right? So it really just depends, but you wanna establish your profit minimums. And, and this is your cash flow, What's, what, this, what cash is going to be kicked off from this account. So at 30% profit margin in this particular account, you'd be making $9,686.35, and this would be the charge to your customer, okay? Now, if you're not accounting for these costs, let's say you don't account for your training costs, and you have a couple of turnovers a year. In this particular case, those turnovers are going to cost you $80 a month if you only have two turnovers in a year, okay? That's gonna cost you $80 a month. If you're not accounting for that in your expenses, that's coming out of your cash flow. Um, and when we say your cash flow and gross operating margins, your profit margins here, the reason why we say gross is this isn't all going home to you. Yes, it's a cash flow, but it's not flowing directly into your pocket. I mean, if you need to go and buy a van, it's coming out of this right? If you need to go and purchase a, a special piece of equipment, that's going to come out of this number here. If you're going to give a promotion or some kind of, you know, bonus, that's coming out of these numbers here. So it's important that you understand your, your expenses and that you understand your cash flow and profit margins and you learn to protect these at all costs.